Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing 10 things to do here in Solvang. I have Ariel here with me and yeah, so I'll show you the 10 things that we're gonna do here. So see you guys in a little bit. The Belgian Cafe is the first stop that we made to grab some breakfast and the plate here is called the Traveler's Special. I will tell you that the waffles taste so good and they are so soft. I highly recommend this place for breakfast. Okay, so at the Solvang restaurant, the cool thing, that this is a must because it's like a dessert thing. Uh, they're called Ibu Skivers. Ibu Skivers. I, I don't know the real pronunciation of it, but I think that's the way you said it. Ibu Say it. Skivers. So yeah, you get an order from them and yeah, try them out. That's a must. It's a Danish um, dessert. So it's like make a sure pancake. You try it. It's like a pancake. So yes, make sure you try the Eve Skeevers. I think that's I think that's how you say it. Also, another cool spot that you can go visit is actually the Solvang Village Square. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of cool places to shop, and the windmills there. So that's a cool thing to go see and take pictures. The Solvang Festival Theater was built by the community in 1974 and since then they hosted many performances, theater productions, concerts, and other events. Check out their website to see upcoming events when you visit. I'll leave the info in the description box below. So I got a vanilla latte. She got a whatever you got. What the heck did you get? I don't know. It's like their chocolate latte. I forgot the name. Yeah, I forgot the name too. And this is some oat and it has banana. This is one of their new things. This oat thing is very, very good. Mm -mm. So delicious. And this goes perfectly with vanilla latte. That's good. Okay, so the sucky part is that it started to rain here. So now we had to buy umbrellas and it's freaking raining. And there's Ariel there. So now we're going to the other places so that way you guys can see the other things to do here in Solvang. It kind of sucks that it's raining here but overall it's still a very nice place to visit, you know? The cool thing... Oh! <laughs> Look at this! Look. This is what happens when you have cheap umbrellas. So we're here at the museum and it's actually really really cool to stop by here because it shows the history and it also shows, uh, so this used to be a house too, so they used to live in here and now they kind of, like each room that you go to shows like a history of what it was and what they did and what was around here, so it's a really cool spot to go check it out and yeah, so let's go explore it and then let me show you more things that they have here. It's an Iva Sky of a Pan. Again, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. It's so funny, I was actually walking around here and showing you guys the tour and then I got scared by this guy. This one's called the best room. How do I know that? Bam, the best room. Yeah, so the cool thing about this museum is that someone used to live here before, so look at this backyard. They totally love life. I also learned that the word solving means sunny field. So I got confirmation of the name of the place of this museum. It's Elver Hoy Museum, which means Elf Hill. But if I'm wrong, let me know. So another cool place that you can visit, it's actually more for kids, is this Sunnyfields Park. And right now it's actually really perfect because it's actually raining so much. 
but I just want to show you what's around here. So like if you have kids, you can, you can actually take them here. that little kid up there there's so much to do here it's a really cool kids park so if you have kids bring them here and the cool thing about this park is if, it, if it's raining you actually can go inside here look at that <sighs> covered no but overall this place is really really cool You can go down the slides, that's cool. There's this. Yeah, so overall, this place is pretty cool. Bring your kids here to play. They will really, really enjoy it because I'm a big kid and I love this. So we're here at Ostrich Land and we so we paid the five dollars for the admission each person and then one dollar to feed the ostriches so and the, and the emus. So actually we're waiting in here because it's raining, so but we're ready. We got an umbrella, so let's do this. So I have the food ready. Oh, they smell the food. So apparently they love the rain. So yeah, this is so cool and look at this, they're just right there. So I'm gonna feed them and then yeah, so check it out. I'm so excited. Eat some. Oh. That is so cool. Come in peace. So yeah, this is pretty cool. It's pretty cool to feed them. It's a good experience. It's just a dollar for the bowl. Five dollars for entrance. But if you come on a sunny day, I think it'd be a lot better. Right now it's raining so hard, but um, I wanted to do this for you guys. Also, a quick tip is that when you're feed feeding them, make sure that you're holding it very tight because they do cool the bowl. And then also, when you are done, put it in this rack. Lunchtime came around, so we came to Biddle Denmark restaurant and the place is very nice and the food was very delicious. I ordered the Hakenbolf Medlog, not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'll leave the name of my plate in the description box below. Overall, it was very delicious. Nighttime came and the lights were mesmerizing. We saw these carriage rides with lights and decided that we must try it. Okay, so we're on this carriage ride, right? And it's $45 a person, it's up to six people. And it's pretty cool because they have like different lights. So you can choose the lights that you want. And the cool thing about this is that it takes you around the, the city so that way you can kind of see what's around. So, bam, and bam. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Solving Yuli Fest is from November 30th until January 3rd. They have many great events for Christmas for each day such as tree lighting, parades, candlelight tours, and more. We were lucky to see the very first time performance of Aurora Jornalis. They use drones to make different shapes with lights. Alright, so that's the end of the 10 things to do here in Solving. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you Ariel for coming with me on this trip and... See you guys soon!